Hi, I'm James Walker. I'm the CEO of Lithium Energy Products. Um, I wanted to start a vlog series just to take investors and potential investors um, through our company, introduce you to what we do, um, talk to you a bit about our properties, um, some ideas for the future, um, hopefully give you a bit more information. So, you know, if you if you are a, uh, an investor, you'll you'll feel maybe a bit more confident in what our operations, and if you're a potential investor, maybe persuaded to invest. So. Lithium Energy Products actually began as Northern Iron Corporation. We were principally an iron ore operation. Um, we had some Canada-based mines and we, our principal export partner was uh, with Chinese companies. But um, uh, if you're familiar with the mining industry, there was a downturn in iron ore uh, in the past few years. And when that began to happen, we began to look at other, other revenue streams. And the most promising one was probably lithium. I mean, we watched lithium climb from, say, $2,000 in 2005 to about um, two thousand, oh, sorry, eight thousand U.S. dollars in 2015. So, it pretty much um, incomparable compared to other commodities in the market. Um, based on that, we, you know, we started pursuing um, lithium properties, and we looked at um, we looked at quite a few. Um, uh, the people principally um, involved in that were some of our directors, uh, who had a lot of experience buying properties. Um, the The first one they bought was a property called Jackpot Lake. That's down in Nevada, that's about 20 kilometers outside of Las Vegas. That's a flat uh, salt lake bed, um, potential brine operation. Um, there was some USGS data we had from, uh, from 1976 that showed very high lithium rich soils down there. So based on that information we bought that property. The, the property itself is also very near roads, it's very near utilities, very near electricity. Um, it's very easy to develop into a mining operation should we find it e economically exploitable. A lot of our directors have found in the past that they've, they've, they've bought properties that look very, poten look very potentially good, um, very, very rich soils, very rich properties, but if they're not near infrastructure, you can't really develop them. So all the properties we now buy are near infrastructure, they're near roads, they're, they're very easily developable. Um, so the second property we bought was Wilcox Plier. That was just outside of Tucson, so just east of Tucson. That's also a flat salt bed lake. Um, also another brine, brine property. We also had some very rich soil samples from there, which we bought upon. Um, also near infrastructure, near roads, um, near water. Also very easy to develop, should we find it economically viable. Um, we, we, we're in the process at the moment of looking into both those properties and conducting some surveys. Jackpot Lake at the moment actually is undergoing some gravitational surveying. That's going to be followed up with some electromagnetic surveying. It will give us an idea of the, the, the basin, hopefully beneath the, the plier, the extent of it. Um, and once we've, once we've got that, we can have a drilling operation that tests the brine. And from that, we can make a feasibility study um, that will give us an indication of um, how viable it is economically, and then we can pr progress to a mining operation. Um, the third, we'll do, oh yeah, before I continue on to the third property, the second property, Wilcox Plier, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We'll start with a gravitational survey, and we'll move on to an electromagnetic survey, um, and then hopefully do the same and assess whether it's economically viable at that point. The third property is the Little Rock property. That'll be, that's going to be a quarrying operation. So. We found some very lithium-rich clays um, from that period, from that area. The that's that property also sits very near roads, very near utilities. Again, very easily, easily developable into an uh, into a mining operation. Um, should we find it economically, economically viable? Um, I aside from the mining operations, we've we're looking into acquiring some more properties. So. Uh, if you know about the lithium triangle down in South America, I think about 80% of the world's lithium, or it's somewhere around there, comes from that little triangle. So we're looking to acquire some properties within that, within that area that we can add to our books, um, and you know, hopefully begin producing operations down there. Uh, aside from that, we're also looking at become acquiring lithium or producing lithium as a byproduct of some other processes. But um, we'll talk about that in a few more future vlogs. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that pretty much summarizes the introduction to the company for the moment, our properties, and hopefully there'll be some much more to report on the future. All right, thank you very much.